Season 2, Episode 4 of Bel Air. Don't kill my vibe. That's the name of the episode if you're looking it up online or whatever. So Will gets suspended because he ran up on a roof last episode with the Black Teachers Matter sign. And, you know, they didn't want a bunch of hoopla, hoopla, I'll say that, uh, going on at the private school. So he got not only suspended, but kicked off the basketball team for good. Which, in turn, he's wanting to play for Doc now because he's a free agent, right? Now, Carlton, who suffers from panic attacks, was supposed to give a speech during the black, the whiteout. I'm sorry, the whiteout. The walkout last episode. But he had a really bad panic attack. And so this his little crush or whatever, Yasmin, she felt like... She was mad at him because she felt like he got talked out of doing it when he was actually couldn't hardly breathe so she overhears him talking to one of the the same lady who was telling him not to go through with it she overhears and he ends up being nominated for the some kind of award or some some kind of position that he was looking for so she thinks he didn't do the speech because of that which that was not true she was kind of getting on my nerves. She was like, girl, if it was that important, you should have stood up there and gave a speech. Why are you mad at him? Like, girl. Ugh. She got on my nerves. Um, so, I don't know how Vivian knows Doc, but Vivian ends up going behind Doc, Doc's back to, you know, try to get him to talk to Philip about letting Will be on the team. Now, of course, Uncle Phil finds out about it because Doc told him. I personally feel like she was wrong. Like, I feel like, yeah, I've never been married. But I assume when you get married, you are a team. And I feel like she should have talked to uh, Phil about that. I understand that's her blood nephew and that's his nephew by marriage. But it's like he's still living under their roof. Both her and his roof. R- wow, I said Ruth. Roof. <laughs> and I feel like she should have talked to him, you know, because she was like, I didn't know I had to need your permission. It's not about permission. It's just like, hey, babe, I want to talk to Doc about possibly letting the will. Like, what do you think? I really feel like she was wrong for that. Let me know what y'all think about that. And I finally got my notes down here, which are lovely. I had I was kind of old school, was writing notes with paper and pencil. It's like, no, use the other phone. That's why I have it, right? So, through Will getting suspended and nothing really changing, Ashley is discouraged. She's throwing away all her, you know, activist paraphernalia. And Will was talking to her like, you know, don't give up, you know. And I think that was important because you're not going to win all the battles in the war when it comes to anything, especially something as big as systematic racism or anything that's just bigger than you, it's going to take some falls. It's going to take some falling down and you just got to keep going. And uh, Ashley's only 13, so that's something she will get to know. So I'm glad he talked to her about that. Okay, this (laughs) this is kind of part I wanted to touch on because it was so funny. So... Jazz and Hillary are a thing. They've been a thing officially for the past few episodes, uh, definitely all this season. So she's met, I mean, he's met, well, I can't say met because he already knew her parents, but he was introduced to him to them as her boyfriend, right? So it's her turn to meet his parents, and he was kind of hesitant about it. Now, if you recall... I think it was episode two. He was praying on the mat. So he is Muslim, right? And you know how Hillary dress. She don't dress skanky, but she be be showing a little abs, you know, showing the arms. She has a great shape. I mean, I would show it too if I had that. But I think Jazz was kind of hesitant, like, man, you know, ugh. So they have the dinner. And I like to say that's his actual, that's his real life mother, the lady who played the mother in that episode, episode four. That's his real life mother. And she also plays in the Oval. I'm not sure if she's still on there because I haven't watched the Oval in a while, but she's also on the Oval if she's still on there. So Hillary shows up. Correct. And please, I don't mean to offend anyone. 
but I'm not sure if it's pronounced hijab or hijab. Uh, please correct me if you know the proper pronunciation. No, I did not look it up before I started recording. But she had that. If that wasn't it, it was she, she had a scarf or something on her. She was covered from head to toe. And Jazz was like pleasantly surprised. But he was like, okay, you know, he thought she was going to come through with the Chanel two-piece. And she surprised him. Now, she ended up doing too much. Because while they're having dinner, she's like, oh, um... Ramadan, that's when you, she was basically giving them the whole history of Islam, and it was very uncomfortable, and Jazz finally was like, okay, just chill, let's talk about something else, and I think that's something, when you're dating someone of a different religion, of a different race, and what else, those are the two big ones, religion and race. I, I wouldn't say politically, but religion and race, I think a lot of times people have the, feel the need to overcompensate like, oh, you know, I know a lot about black culture and blah, 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 blah. It's like, you don't have to do all, just be yourself and relax. And that's what Jazz was telling her because she, I got secondhand embarrassment and, and the show's not even real. This is, it's acting. I was like, girl, calm down. But I'm actually glad, glad they put that in a scene because it happens when you're when you're mixing two different cultures, religion, races. Uh, sometimes people feel the need to prove, OK, I'm not anti whatever. I know some things. I'm not just this ignorant person that doesn't know about your religion. So let me rattle off some facts. You know what I'm saying? And for those of you who feel like that's not an issue if you're let's say you're christian and you have somebody who's atheist you're dating and they come to your house for dinner and they're like yeah and 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 jesus died when he uh, was crucified when he was 33 and 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 moses did this and paul and mary it's like we get it you know what i'm saying you did your homework you're good to go let's you know but it was cute, you know what I'm saying? She she really wanted to impress his folks, you know? She just got a little carried away with it or whatnot. Now, excuse me. Now, Jeffrey, who I feel like needs to get some more screen time like last season, he's kind of carrying himself in a different, a different way. He's like straight up, I'm just doing my job. I'm not really on some personal stuff. So Uncle Phil was worried about that. He was talking to Aunt Viv about it. And I'm not going to get too much into this because I don't really know what's going on. I'm not into like the legal stuff. But basically, one of his partners, Phil's partners or something, was doing something and that Uncle Phil felt like it didn't benefit them. I think Jeffrey was looking out. Jeffrey, you know, I like how his character in this show is he does his job but he generally is looking out for this family and I feel like that's what he was doing season one and I understand Uncle Phil didn't like that when he was getting this information for Will about Lou but you know he um you want somebody like that that's that your employee but they got your back at the same time. Like, yeah, I'm here for a check, but I want to make sure y'all are straight for real. You know what I mean? When it comes to those type of jobs, hospitality jobs like that, uh, healthcare jobs, you want somebody that actually cares about people. <laughs> okay? And they're just not there for the check. So, this Drew guy... They're at the bowling alley now. It's Carlton and um, Will. Because, you know, remember on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Carlton had got into the bowling thing for a little bit. So I'm guessing they revisited that through this episode. So Drew is a guy that Lisa is talking to or he's trying to talk to her or something right now, right? So he sits there, gets mad at Carlton for not doing a speech, getting all in his face. Start shoving. Carlton whoops his ass. Of course, everybody takes their phone out, and he just went off like, "Look, you know, I, I had I had a panic attack. That's why I didn't do the speech. Blah 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 blah." And then in turn, 
actually it ends up kind of like going viral a little bit or at least amongst the class the, the school and they started talking about depression and you know mental health something that we I, I'm glad is getting a much bigger platform now you know what I mean um so Will while they're at the bowling alley Will's trying to talk to he's talking to Lisa whatever and then he gets a, a text from Jackie you know so he meets up with her she's like in the little gym studio doing her ballerina thing dancing so they have their little moment they kiss and whatnot now this is this is the thing towards the end which blew my mind and that's the reason why i have my thumbnail the way i have it because we know that that's doc's niece right so after philip and Will left Doc's office to, you know, basically solidify his joining his team, right? And his, you know, organization or whatever. She's like, hey, how did that go? And I'm paraphrasing. Doc was like, yeah, you did a good job because of you. We got him, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, I get it now because season, <laughs> I keep seeing season. Episode two, remember when they were in a club and he was dancing up on Jackie and Doc really didn't look like he was like offended or disrespected or anything he sent her set jack set will up put jackie on her like you pimping out your niece to get a player on the team so i don't even know if jackie is even feeling will like that or is it just a job for her uncle like i was like wow you know what i'm saying but I love a good cliffhangers so i'm definitely i like this episode much better because last episode was the bulk of it was about the protests and I kind of like some subplots going on, you know, not too many, but just enough. This was just enough. Really, really enjoyed this episode. All right. <sighs> Let me know in the comments, man. What do you think? Do you agree with me on this Vivian thing? Do you feel like she was wrong for going behind Uncle Phil's back? Do you feel like Doc is a piece of crap? for pimping out his niece to try to get Will on the team, man, let me know. As always, y'all, peace and blessings. Until next time, bye.